right, today I'm going to be painting some Black Eyed Susans for week one of September's Aloha Watercolors Challenge. It's a limited color palette challenge, and September's theme is Fall Florals with RYC Paints. So I've got predetermined colors, limited color palette, and week one is Fall Florals Near You. So Black Eyed Susans it is. I might do a bouquet with another flower in there. Um, but it's going to be very loose. I'm going to start with those dark brown centers, which I used a combination of Payne's Gray and Pinecone. I think the color itself is Van Dyke Brown, and this is as close as I can get to it. So... A few dark centers in a few different directions. Give some of that a moment to dry. And I want to have some different angles for my florals. One or two of them head on and then some profiles. I'm thinking I want to put it in a vase. We'll see what happens. Okay. So now that I've got some idea of where my florals are gonna be, um, deciding on what my brush is gonna be. And my yellow is going to be straw from This Is Hand Painted. I want this to be a little bit sparse. I don't want them too crowded. There's so many different variety of Black Eyed Susans too. I do want to add a second floral into this. I think I'm going to go for a pink flower. few places, a little bit more of that yellow. I always have so much inspiration when it comes to fall florals. Too many flowers, too little time to paint. <laughs> okay. 
think I'm gonna add in some of the pink and then some stems <laughs> and then get this close to done. So something up here. in here. softening some of that up. <clears throat> Switching the brush out to my Princeton Petals brush and getting into that green. I'm using Canopy Leaves from KMS as my green. Thank you, Emmy. I've been practicing for three years now. I've always been a fast painter. I think that helps. I don't think too much about what anything has to look like. I actually do. The link is in my bio. Um, my very favorite watercolors are Boulder Colors and KMS. If you are into metallic watercolors, um, I think you'll love KMS. And this is my favorite watercolor paper that I'm using right now. It's from Bao Hong. Yeah. Hi, Queen Fasta. It's been a really good day. Nature Hippie, yeah, it's a fun paper for sure. I think I'm going to need a little bud in here. I had to do a quick check to see that I got all my flowers at stem. Um, thinking about if I want to add some leaves. I think I'll add a couple in here. I want it to be kind of subtle. Not too many. 
Ooh, my favorite flower to paint is probably the rose. I love painting roses. And here comes Sina. Hi, Sina. <laughs> oh. She just wants to say hello. <laughs> Those big pants. Um, okay. I'm just seeing if I want to add anything else to this. <laughs> Some little greenery under there. I don't have a Patron, but thank you, Emmy. Um, what I did is I I made a YouTube channel, or I had one because I'm a chemistry teacher, and I started uploading these lives. So if you like this style of kind of paint and chat, or you can ask questions, and um, I'll paint a certain flower that you'd like, something like that. I've been doing these lives here on TikTok for about two months, I'm on summer vacation, very end of it. and. I've slowly started uploading them to that YouTube channel. The link is in my bio as well. Um, so far I don't have any like curated step-by-step -step tutorials. Um, but if, if you ask enough questions during the live, I think I can help you. I did do a workshop or two that was dedicated to a couple flowers, but I ran out of time this summer to dedicate too much time to prep for that. So that might come back, but not for a while. Um, I start back at work after Labor Day. So um, I'll still try and come on here live after work, but not too many paintings at once. <laughs> so they'll be a little bit shorter. So this is the week one prompt fall florals for Aloha watercolors challenge. I love how this one turned out. I can show you the other paintings I did for the other fall floral challenge, the seven days of autumn flowers. I love the gold in this one. I love how that dried. This is the same paper. Um, different colors though. Zena, sit, sit down over there. Sit down. Did some sunflowers for that one. I really like the leaves in this one. I think that's my favorite. <laughs> of the gold, do you like the gold? I, I do like gold watercolor. Um, that particular gold was from Mrs. Hand Painted. Here there's some dog roses and rose hips. This also gives you an idea of my style, I think. So these are blackberries that are flowering. Um, all of these paintings are available for purchase. Original watercolors only right now. I don't have prints. Um, they are $20 including shipping if you see something that you really like. That's another way that you could support me. Currently I just have one listing up on Etsy, but if you like anything in particular, I can list it for you. I think um, that's about it for today. It's gonna be a short one. I have a couple things I have to start finishing up. I've got my mandatory yearly training videos to go through. I like to get that out of the way before uh, the school year actually starts because I just have so many things once I have students in front of me this guy. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that one is a really great fall one. I just love the trio of them together. Plus, I've been painting just yellow sunflowers for so long. This was fun to mix up the colors for. I'll be doing more fall florals. Um, so what I can do is, as soon as this live ends, I can take a picture and list it on my Etsy account. And the aren't red sunflowers just gorgeous? Oh, they are.
perfect fall florals. Um, so I can list this one for 20 bucks and you can purchase it and I can send it out to you. So I, I can do that as soon as this live ends. If there's anything else you'd like, something that you saw but you wish it was in a different color, I could always change it up and do a commission piece. I sign them on the back, I mean, because I know some people like to have it signed. If you would like it signed on the front, you can just request that. Um, but I only do that if they're getting sold. If it's just for me, I just I keep them in a pile. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have, let's see, some other older pieces if you'd like to see. I know there's a couple of new faces. Yes, I mean, I hope to see you around more often. I do this live at about 4 p.m. Eastern pretty much every day. There's going to be one day coming up before I go back to, to work that I'll go live on Instagram because I've been kind of inactive over there. And I have a couple of friends that don't have TikTok, so I'll pop on over there. Sure. I'll show you some other ones. This one was fall adjacent. I don't usually go full page florals, but I wanted to do a few varieties. Uh, I also paint loose landscapes. Not a lot of them, but I really do enjoy it when I have the time for them. Uh, this is using two metallic paints. Both of the metallics are from KMS, so just some loose roses. A sort of carnation like flower. I did this one on a TikTok live here and these on a TikTok live here. Really like how this came out. I was using a nude brush for me, a pointed oval. I really love that one. If you like gold, there's some gold details in these as well. Sort of daisy flower. <laughs> Jess, you're too kind. Um, orchids aren't my favorite flower, but they're just tricky to paint for me, but these these were fun to do. Um, I've got this hydrangea again, dripped in gold. <laughs> I love these ranunculus flowers. I uh, did this one as a TikTok live as well. And then I've got a few that are on handmade paper. Some zinnias, I took inspiration from my garden for these. Another one with some gold accents. I practiced some anemones for a fall workshop. Did this one here live as well. Painting roses is my favorite thing, so I'm, I'm surprised it took so long to get to another rose piece. Thanks, Emmy. I go through lots of paper. <laughs> it's a really fun hobby. Um, oh, YouTube. YouTube has so many amazing artists that are sharing their talent. Just a simple dahlia here. That's how I practiced in the beginning. So as soon as I figured out that I couldn't stop painting with watercolor, I decided to watch a whole bunch of YouTube artists and learn for them. Uh, top three, I started looking at Emma Lefebvre. Absolutely loved her style, very approachable. She had a great um, zinnias. Yes, I can dig out the zinnia one on the handmade paper. This one. <laughs> I'll put this one to the side. Yes, and since you're buying two, I can discount one a little bit. Um, what was I saying? Um, <laughs> oh, my top three. So, Emma Lefebvre, number one. Um, let's see. Jenna Rainey, always a fun one. She's got a little bit more of a loose abstract one. 
good luck you looking at that one too. Should I just post it on my Etsy account and, and let the, the odds be in your favor? <laughs> I actually love adding ink as well, uh, making it a little bit of a mixed media piece. Um, but this sort of style here is kind of headed in the Jenna Rainey style where it's, it's very loose. I think my third would be Jolie Poa, I think that's it. You're writing it down. Oh, if you just DM me, I can I can send you the links to their websites or, or write it down. That might be easier. I, Jolie is J-O-L-Y and then P-O-A. I think she's my favorite. Um, let's see. This one, if you like gold, I think this is a really cute one. I don't know what your favorite colors are, but I think I've, I can hit all the colors by the time I get to the bottom of this pile. And then I've got a few in a series of poppies that are in different colors. So I've got this almost peachy color, salmony peach. I love the blue ones, but this one is my favorite one. I don't know if you can see the depth of color from this camera quality, but this is great for fall. Hi, AJ in California. <laughs> it is a good color. I'll probably order closer to when bedtime is being <laughs> Oh, well, um, if there's any flower in particular, I can go see if I have it. Um, this one was a nice handmade paper. It's a little bit of a thicker quality paper. Uh, I enjoyed those gold details. If you are interested in landscape artists on YouTube, what was that last one? This one? Um, this one, I, these are just loose florals. I think I was kind of inspired by a peony for this one. <laughs> so beautiful. Um, this is one of the looser styles. Yeah, this was a really fun one. I painted this one live on TikTok here. Yes, so Emmy Landscapes, my absolute number one pick on YouTube for painting landscapes. This writing desk. So this one, if I can get it all in there, that was one of her free tutorials on YouTube. If I had all the time in the world and it was my day job, I think I would paint landscapes almost as often as I painted florals, but just that really faint mountain range, you know, it takes an hour, let it dry, do another layer, let it dry, step away. You could always get like a heating tool or something like that, but I don't know, I just let it air dry. I think this one is um, my favorite from the summer that I've painted. All of the blues here are paints made from plants or food waste. So this one is made <laughs> from peach bits. Yeah, 100% um, down to this writing desk. She's an awesome teacher. So you could do that too. Tulips, some of my favorite tulips that I've painted here on TikTok. Yes, um, sometimes I do like adding those at the end or even the beginning of a painting to be very loose. Like this one, I know I started with just splashing some paint on and then created flowers from the paint splashes and then some gold at the end. Surprisingly not that bad for this one. Um, I don't think I painted this one live, but after I put down just a flat wash of color, I took a paintbrush that was dry and took some lines and lifted some paint and then I tapped in a little bit of an extra color darker color and it, it wasn't as difficult as it might look um, let's see I'm gonna go through a little bit quicker now because I only made it halfway through my pile also like this one <laughs> this one 
oh gosh, these loose stalk-like flowers are some of my favorites. Uh, purple, this one. <laughs> Maybe I'll put that one to the side and list it anyway. <laughs> yes, okay, put that one off to the side. Um, but these stalk-like flowers, like this, some of my favorite to paint. Um, exactly, so for about a year and a half, I didn't paint with metallics. I had one gold that I bought and fell in love with. This is another This Writing Desk um, tutorial. And I liked the gold. I had a lot of fun with the gold. And then I got some KMS paints, and one of them was... A metallic and a sampler set. I went, it was just so fantastic. I needed all the metallics after that. There is a little purple metallic color in there. So in person this one sparkles a little bit more. This one was just me. It wasn't a tutorial. Um, it was a interesting one. <laughs> Do you do the, what, the petals first and then fill in the stalks? Yes, so I, I do kind of the petals and then fill in exactly. And then might go back in and add some, some dark color in the center or something like this. Um, I mean, I think you should just DM me and I'll give you a list of all the watercolor artists because this is another one that I was inspired by. I think you'd like her style too. I think it's Marina or something. I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but I can look at my playlist and find her for you. Yeah, I added the extra florals in and stuff like that, but I think you'd enjoy her style. Um, inspired by this writing desk. She does a lot of really fun ocean ones, night ones, things like that. So the, the sky is totally um, inspired by her. This one was a tutorial by her. Um, another one of those very loose style, very minimalist ones. Sometimes these are my favorite. <laughs> like this the color bleeds here are just my favorite thing and this paper does a really good job um, taking the water and letting it bleed beautifully so I enjoy painting really quick pieces on this watercolor paper um, some more tulips red carnations this one, I do have something to say on it because the yellow here is actually made from Black Eyed Susans. It's this gorgeous, stunning yellow in person, um, <laughs> right? I'm not a huge fan of yellow flowers, but in this case, I make an exception. That yellow is just stunning. Another one of my ink paintings and one more that has ink. I do the ink after I paint with watercolor, just to add some definition. Um, inspired by some violets here. Just testing some colors, some blues. There's a little metallic blue in there. Oh my gosh, I'm getting to the end of my pie also, I'm trying to fish around in there for some things that are a little bit different. Love this color combination. I think this is my favorite, this blush color and that yellow center. I think that's my favorite color combo. This particular one, um, I think I have a pad of it in front of me. I can show you exactly. This is one of those linked on my Amazon favorites. It's great for beginners, I think. It's not too expensive. It's not the 100% cotton paper, so it's not the most amazing bleeds, but I think it does a pretty good job. Okay. Um, couple more in here. 
all on that same paper. Ah, one of my favorites from the summer. Just something about the color combination for this one. I really like the blue next to that orangey pink coral color. Um, some more roses. I'm looking to see if there's anything else that's remarkable in here. <laughs> Specifically looking to see if I have any more landscapes in this pile. Another watercolor in ink. Just a different style of flower. Another stalk-like one, starting with the center and then the green. Another ink. <laughs> okay, I think I've gotten really close to the end of my pile now. This is a great fall palette. I like the colors together there. The metallic in this one is really pretty. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say, even though that's not the end of the pile, it's pretty much everything that's different and remarkable. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much it for here. Yes, I will get the get that to you, Emmy. I will make you that list. This Black Eyed Susan, same. Now I kind of have to go backwards a bit. <laughs> I do have an Etsy shop. It is linked. All of the paintings that you see are not on there. Yes, I can do that one for you too. Um, so if you see something in particular you like, you can let me know. Um, if you go, I have an Instagram page, same name, and I pretty much post everything that I have. So you can scroll through, and if something is still available, I can post it for you. Um, okay. Now I'm just consolidating my stack of paintings because Zena, my German Shepherd puppy, really likes eating paper. So I have to make sure all of this is very far away from her. Okay. So we've got a few that I'm going to put up. This one. This one. We've got the zinnias. Sunflowers. I think that was it. That was specifically called out. I'll post them all. You can peruse and choose. And if you need anything else let me know but I think that's it for the for me um, if you have any more questions before I log off let me know and if you could think of anything later you can just DM me um, I'll be back here painting again around the same time so I hope to see you again soon <laughs> yes oh please <laughs> thank you I really appreciate that yes I'm excited you found me. <laughs> I'll get you that list of YouTube artists just as soon as I put these up. All right. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Yes, I'm so, so happy you found me. <laughs> See you again soon. Bye.